I just met Hassan, you know my cousin. Mm -hmm. He was in the room with his brother. Okay. And through the wall, he could hear his father talking to his uncle. Mm -hmm. And his uncle, as you know, is the best boatman on both sides of the river. Now, this is what he said. Oh. The white's excrement is just as black as ours. What? You see what I told you? The white's excrement is black. <laughs> True. And it's mixed with an enormous quantity of paper. Hey, do white shit paper? <laughs> Everybody went home. The cast went home. The crew went home. The director went home with a 19-year-old. But you know who didn't get to go home? I didn't get to go home. So while everybody's trading fruitcakes by the open fire, I'll be changing urinal cakes and tossing the old ones in the furnace. Yo, crap. You got a life? Now give me all your fucking money, milky white bitch! was a banker. My father, he collects the money of pirates, of warlords, and hides their money around the world. This is the kind of job my father wants for me. Okay. And who gives the money hmm, to these warlords that my father professionally facilitates? America. America funds these warlords to help them control our country against Muslim brothers. The package was delivered. It was delivered. Really? See? Status. Status. Delivered. When? Um, this... this morning. Do I have a package, Rahim? You do see, I don't have it. When you enter <clears throat> the Valley of Astonishment, you are bewildered and stupefied. Sobbing and groaning catch you at once and make you their prey. I've been here two months and you don't know my name? That's you, my little <laughs> ah, Just forgive me, dear friend, it's too much work. I'm sorry. Sorry, just tell me your name. Mrs. Costas, but everybody calls me Sammy. Mrs. Costas, but everybody calls you Sammy. Most likely you'll experience greater fatigue, weakness, as well as further abdominal pain and bouts of nausea. The chest pain and shortness of breath you were describing earlier could also be symptoms, but again, it depends on how the disease is metastasized. Colon cancer. I'm sorry. It's another pain in my ass. <laughs> I was famous once. Turned a two-bit part on a soap into seven episodes. They was eating. I had to wander up in this big white apron and say, more ground pepper, sir. Director says I was so good, he kept me on. Created a whole arc, I think they call it. I died, finally, in a helicopter crash on my way to my mother's funeral. That was the easiest money I ever made. Oh! My good Lord, I would not buy what power by some power it is. My love to Hermia melted as the snow. Seems to me now as the remembrance of an idol god which in my childhood I did dote upon. In all the faith 
the virtue of my heart, the object and pleasure of mine eye is only in Aina. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's not a matter of uh, going into the piece with an agenda or, or, or needing it to mean this to these people or anything. It's just a matter of having a story to share. The, the work at the end is done by the, the audience, like William says, it's done by the audience to go away and interpret that in however, whatever way they find, you know, and how it relates to their life. So, I mean, there, there definitely is a part where uh, it ex that does exist everywhere, that idea of um, someone being treated as the lesser. So, so there's an obvious uh, connection. Ces petites interviews et tout. Everybody can feel that in some way they are unique. What they're bringing is unique and can be cherished and valued. And everybody at the same time feels that what they have is um, is just a piece of something, and that there are many pieces to be found. <laughs> <laughs>